Hi everyone. I know some of you have been asking about how to make your own virtual classroom. So I'm going to kind of go through mine, but you can make it whatever you would like yours to look like. So the first thing that you would need to do is you would go to Google Slides and you would get a blank slide and then you can delete the text boxes and then you would go to up here where it says background choose an image go to google image search and you would type in wall and floor background so here there are lots of different options that you can choose if nothing that you like is on here you can always go to google search and do the same thing let's just pick one here and then you would insert it and hit done and now it's the background nothing can be moved on it but we're going to add images on here okay so if i look back at my classroom um let's say i want to have a bookshelf so I would go to insert image, search the web, make sure that you put transparent before whatever you want to look up. Um, bookshelves. And then these images will come up. You can pick one of those to insert and put in. You would just drag it or you can hit insert. It will be really big. So then you just resize it to whatever size you'd like. If you weren't um, happy with those selections, you could go to Google transparent book shelves and go to images and try to find something else that you would like. Now, even though it says transparent, sometimes the background comes through, so you just have to play around to see what would work. So let's copy this image, go back in, paste it. See, now this has kind of white around it, so it wouldn't look like it really should be there. So I'm not going to keep that one. And then you might do transparent chair. Remove one in here. Get a bit bigger. And let's say I want it to go the other way. I would go to rotate, flip horizontally. Put it right here. Now, if I were to do the bookshelf after the chair, then the bookshelf would be in front. So it would look like this. So if this happens to you, all you need to do is click on it, go to order, and send it to the back, it will be behind the chair. So then that looks more proportionate. And you can add as many things as you'd like in here. For my whiteboard, I just did a shape. I changed the color to white the border to black, and then I made the border thicker. And then I can change the font and the size. Now I had put a blue Expo marker on there on my whiteboard, so 
I will just change, oh, and see I changed the border, make a mistake, just go over here to undo. I can make the um, color different. And then I also added some magnets and I just did shape. I did a smiley face and I changed the color to yellow and the border stayed. So let's go back to one and I can insert another shape. and make that red, make it a little bit smaller. And there I have my whiteboard. Um, the alphabet strip was a little bit trickier. It did not fit all the way and I had to do some cropping. So that one, um, if you're interested in getting an alphabet and you want me to show you how to do that, I'd be more than happy to. And just so these are moving, but if you want to move something, you just click on the whole thing that you want to move. Now this will get my chair in there, but you can just take it and move it. What's supposed to come with. Um, and it would move along with you. I did add a transparent rug here. I did a transparent filing cabinet. This is a transparent laptop. I showed you um, my alphabet strip wouldn't fit across. I did a lot of cropping and pasting so that takes a little bit more effort so if that's something that you're interested in again let me know and for this poster i went to my teachers by teachers you can also search up another google search but I'll show you how I did it here. So after I have it downloaded, I'm gonna bring it up. I make it smaller because I'm gonna capture it. Oh, that's right there. So then I just would go to I hit the Windows button, Shift and S, you have to hold them all down, but in that order. Then you would drag to capture the picture. It copies it to your clipboard. You go back, paste it in. It's going to be huge. Make it smaller. And then you can put it onto the wall like a poster. And for the last thing that I did, I did my Bitmoji. So if you don't have the extension, you need to make sure that you get the Chrome extension. You would do that by going to Google. I just type in oh, Bitmoji extension. That's the easiest way. Click on it. Now I already have it added, so it says remove, but here it would say add. And if you have an account, you would just log in. If not, you would need to create your own Bitmoji. And then you would get a Bitmoji shortcut up here in your tools for your extension. You would just click on that. Let's go back to the presentation. And now I have I'm reading a book, but let's say I want her to come in and walk. So I would take it and drag it.
And I might need to make her a little bit bigger. <laughs> Whiteboard's a bit small there. Maybe change this. This is where the fun part comes in. Gonna move. So let's oh, try to move her. So move this up. Move this over. My magnets come. And now I can move her. And, and that's how you would make your virtual classroom or a virtual learning space. So if you have any questions, um, please comment below or reach out to me and I would be happy to help you. Hope you have fun.